Everyone's talking about SDR, Software Defined Radio, but what does it really mean? From low-cost USB dongles to high-performance transceivers, SDR technology has completely changed the way we receive and transmit radio signals. In this video, we'll explore what an SDR is, how it works, and the key differences between consumer-level devices and professional-grade designs. A traditional radio is built from analog components, each of them performing a fixed function. In an SDR, most of these operations are done by software. The radio frequency signal is converted to digital almost immediately by an analog to digital converter, and all signal processing happens inside a computer, DSP and FPGA. This architecture offers enormous flexibility. You can switch modes, adjust filters, or change frequency ranges entirely through software. No need to modify the hardware. That's why SDRs are used today in research, military communications, and of course, amateur radio. The most common way many people discover software defined radio is through low cost USB dongles, tiny receivers that connect directly to a computer and cost less than a dinner. These devices are widely available, easy to use, and perfect for learning the basics of SDR technology. With just a small antenna and a free piece of software, anyone can visualize the radio spectrum, tune across bands, and decode a wide variety of signals. Their compact size and accessibility have played a huge role in popularizing SDR among students, hobbyists, and experimenters worldwide. They are great for education, spectrum monitoring, and even light duty listening on VHF or UHF bands. Of course, their simplicity comes with trade-offs, limited dynamic range, higher noise, and minimal RF protection, but for their cost and convenience, these dongles remain a remarkable gateway into the SDR world. One of the most fascinating aspects of entry-level SDR receivers is their very wide frequency coverage. Many of these compact receivers can tune from a few kilohertz up to several gigahertz. This broad spectrum access comes from their simple front-end design. They use a direct conversion or tuner-based architecture without complex pre-selection filters or band-specific stages. The result is a receiver that can see almost everything on the air, from shortwave and amateur bands to FM, air traffic, satellites, and digital transmissions, all with a single pocket-sized device. Of course, this simplicity is a double-edged sword. It allows enormous flexibility, but also exposes the receiver to unwanted signals and overload in crowded RF environments. Still, this open design has made low-cost SDRs an extraordinary tool for exploration and learning. Professional SDRs, on the other hand, use high-resolution converters along with FPGA-based digital signal processing and ultra-low noise analog front-ends. They offer much greater dynamic range, better linearity, and precise timing synchronization. These are the kind of radios designed for serious operators and demanding environments. Another key feature that sets true professional SDRs apart is the quality of the analog front end. Before the signal reaches the analog to digital converter, it passes through a carefully engineered RF preselection chain with high performance band pass filters and low noise amplifiers that reject unwanted signals and protect the receiver from overload and intermodulation. Just before conversion, a precision anti-aliasing low-pass filter, a feature found only in the most sophisticated receivers, removes any residual out-of-band components, ensuring that only the intended spectrum enters the digital domain. This level of analog refinement is not common among SDRs on the market, 
It's part of what gives transceivers, such as OLSDR, their exceptional dynamic range, purity, and stability even in the most demanding RF environments. Professional SDR transceivers are not limited to digital signal processing. Their design often includes a wide range of hardware-level features that make them complete and versatile radio systems. These may include multi-channel antenna selectors, transverter control interfaces for higher frequency operation, and dedicated ports for external device management, such as open collector outputs for station automation, Ethernet connectivity for network or remote operation, and integrated audio sections with built-in speakers for local monitoring. This level of integration is what defines a professional-grade SDR, ready to serve as the central hub of a complete radio station. Professional SDRs are not just about better hardware. Their performance also depends on the software that drives them. Dedicated control suites, like Allmaster, are designed to fully exploit the hardware's capabilities, real-time spectrum processing, advanced filtering, and precision control of every RF parameter. Unlike generic SDR programs, these platforms are optimized for latency, stability, and seamless integration with amplifiers and external devices. In short, cheap SDRs are great to start learning, but professional SDRs deliver accuracy, stability, and real performance when the band is crowded or the conditions are tough. The difference is not only in the price, it's in the design philosophy, the engineering, and the results you hear. Of course, what we've covered here is only a small part of the SDR world. There's much more to explore, from digital signal processing to advanced transceiver architectures and remote operation. It's impossible to compress all of that into a single short video. So, if you enjoyed this overview and want to learn more about SDR technology and professional radio systems, make sure to subscribe to our channel. This way, you'll be notified when we publish new videos and in-depth articles on these fascinating topics. See you in the next one.